It's as much as I can remember. The following day, Lieutenant Koenig, you were found by the Metz Highway, along with Sergeant Robert and eight survivors. Yes, sir. It's quite a story, but it seems we'll have to believe you. General, just give me another... Lieutenant! Karen, I've already decided to do that. I'm sending you back to that village. But this time you'll be a guide. Me, a guide? Our forces invaded France from the north and have managed to push back the western front beyond the Meuse River. But that village alone has stubbornly refused to surrender to us and continues to remain outside the Empire's grasp. Dome Remy may be beautiful, but it has absolutely no strategic value to us. But for the honor of the Empire, we must not allow anyone, or anything, to stand against us. Even if we have to face a demon itself. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. This is Cardinal Nicholas Conrad. He's come all the way from the Vatican. spring. The world is in the middle of a huge upheaval. It started with a single shot, and the fire of war spread within a single instant. All of Europe was engulfed, and the struggle soon grew into the first worldwide war the human race had ever known. From a corner of this battlefield, our story begins once again. Is this your first time at the Vatican? Um, yes. I need to do some careful preparation before we go to Dom Remy. There's a certain item that I must have in order to complete this mission. A certain item? Yes, a sort of good luck charm. It's used for exorcisms. And that's where we're going now? Yes, it's inside a Poina Tower. Also known as the Tower of Atonement. It seems you know of it. For many, many years, dangerous heretics and others like them were kept in prison there. It's filled with the spirits of those who went mad from the torture. That's why it's a safe resting place for the item that I seek. But why am I coming? 
Well, to get to the top of the tower, I need your help. I'll feel much safer if you're with me. Many have been imprisoned and died here over the years. Noblemen who lost in battle. Tragic princesses who were thought to have died of illnesses. You can still feel their malice. I knew it. What is it? I'm not sure. But when I met that demon in Dome Remy, I didn't sense the malevolence that I feel from the people in this tower. Could it have been because you were so afraid, then? That may be part of it, but... He... was beautiful. Interesting word to use. Also... Also? He seemed sad.
All we can do is go forward. Is that it? Yes. The ultimate tool for exercising demons. I've made the necessary preparations. Preparations? Yes. Split up and surround the church! Stop! It's dangerous to leave now. But why? He has come. Show your true self, Demon of Dom Remy. I've been wanting to meet you, God Slayer. All those dead soldiers outside. Are you the one who killed them? That's right. You see, I don't want any witnesses to what is about to happen here. <sighs> Give me the girl. W what's going on? Come and take her. If you can. <sighs> you. Give me Jean. Nikolai! <clears throat> Lenny! You're late again! <laughs> Relax! I had a stubborn sergeant to deal with. Stop right there. One dumb move and the girl here dies. Go ahead. Then you'll die next. I wouldn't expect any less. That's exactly what makes my long search for you worthwhile. You've been looking for me? I was ordered by the Lord to destroy a certain traitor. A man who brought God down from heaven and tried to lay waste to the world. <sighs> but before I could, a man with the power of a demon defeated that traitor and the god he had brought down from heaven with him. Yes, it was you who did it. I'm glad to finally meet you, the man who stole my prey from me. But before you grow into a problem for me like that traitor Albert Simon, I'll root you out like the weed you are. Who are you guys? We are Sapientes Gladio. We alone possess the light of new hope to guide us through the 20th century. Never heard of you. <laughs> That's fine. Once we destroy you, God Slayer, the world will learn our name. Your life 
will be our ticket to renown. Huh? And your soul will be brought back into God's grace by the power of the holy mistletoe. Nikolai! Hey there, she changing sides on us? She's nothing to us. She's merely a tour guide. She'll die here along with the others. Who are you, really? It doesn't matter. Thanks for bringing us here. You might have made a fine ally. It's really quite sad. Let that girl go. Or else. Yeah, or else what? You gonna shoot her too? Huh? <laughs> Ugh! Rat! Ready. Mama made it. <laughs> Here, it's still warm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. He really likes you, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. We've been together ever since Papa died. Until now, he's never taken food from anyone but me. I wonder if they'll come back. They will. Because they left soldiers alive in the town? I wonder what they want with the village anyway. Huh. Anyway, if they come back, this guy will let us know right away. Yep. Oh, so here you are. Grandpa! Jean, your mother is worried about you. Oh. Again. <laughs> Don't be so hard on me. This is my one true pleasure. <laughs> well, better get to bed. Your mom's waiting for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good night, Yuri. Good night, Grandpa. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. You too. Shouldn't you be turning in soon? <laughs> After I have a few more drinks. Let me see that. Huh? Uh, just a little sip. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Give me that crap! Oh! Oh, I can't mm. believe it. That's good. Oh, wonderful. Say, 
How long are you planning on staying in this village anyway, huh? Hmm. I'm not really sure. What about you? How long are you gonna stick with me? Yeah, I'm not really sure either. Mm. Lazy old bum. They're gonna keep coming back. No matter how much you beat them, they always do. Yep. This war's not over by a long shot. We need... A safer place to stay. That's right. There is no safe place. Not around here. You know that, don't you? That's why I'm staying right here. I'll protect this village until I die. What's with you, huh? Sounds to me like you're just looking for a place to die. Well, you're wrong. I don't plan on throwing my life away, old-timer, if that's what you're thinking. Is that so? <sighs> Besides, my life isn't my own anyway. This life of mine was given to me by her. barely managed to pull you out of that light in time. You can hardly walk. <clears throat> what happened to the village? The soldiers came and took the villagers away. <clears throat> no. Can you walk? We can't stay here. I'm feeling better. Don't push yourself. You barely survived. You're a lucky man. We'll head for Paris through the woods. I've got an apartment there. But, but, uh... If they find you, they'll kill you too, Miss, um, uh, yeah. Karen. Hmm. I'm Geppetto, the puppeteer. This here is Yuri. First, you have to think about surviving, right? Hmm? Fine. I told you I feel all right now. That mistletoe. Uh, we'd better figure out what kind of curse it put on you. Hmm. Yeah. Sapientes Gladio. Hmm. So 
What the hell? There's a tree here. Whoa, what's going on here inside my soul? Something strange is happening. Is it because of that mistletoe thing? Huh? What? What the? That's me growing there. Hey, hold on a minute. What the hell does this mean? What's going on here? Are you alive? Are you? Uh, this is bad. I'm starting to feel sick. What do I do now? I can't do soul fusion anymore either. Guess I'd better have a look around in here. Inside my soul. Is he human? Or maybe... <laughs> yeah, he's human. Yeah, but he's a strange one, all right. Have you been with him for long? Hmm? Well, over a half a year now, as near as I can recall. He suddenly appeared one day, along with my late wife's niece. Your wife's niece? Uh, she was more like my own daughter, but unfortunately she was already dead when he arrived. She and Yuri were lovers. He dug her grave with his own hands. We've both lost people in our lives. We just try to live as best we can. Hmm? <laughs> With his own hands. Wow.
What's going on? That thing just jumped out from inside you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. It's all because of that weird holy stick thing. The monster souls inside of me are starting to get a bit unruly. Monster souls? Yeah, he's got a strange power. Whenever he beats a monster, he takes their souls and then can fuse with them. I can change into a monster, okay? <sighs> hmm. Huh. Uh, anyway, it's good we're all okay. <laughs> Let's get out of this forest before something else happens. Well, have you learned anything? The mistletoe is a powerful item. Yeah. The church has used it for centuries. Hmm. Uh, as a tool for guiding lost souls. Hmm. Well, that's what it says here anyway. It's now being kept at the Vatican. So it's gonna guide my soul too? I suppose so. Hmm. That's bull. It is not bull! Is there some way to fix it? <laughs> well, you've gotta do something. I think you're screwed. Ah, oh, you oh, old man. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Uh, uh, um. huh? Look at Whoa. that. I hope you don't mind. Ah, that's from my university days. <laughs> I found it over there. Is it alright if I borrow it? Hmm. Uh, you're welcome to it, my dear. us all the way here? <laughs> sure are stubborn.
season over already?
waste of time. In the name of justice, this fist! In the name of truth, these muscles! In the name of honor, this blood! Ha-ha! <laughs> Champion of truth and justice, Grand Papillon! Ready to fight all evil doers! If you can face the unfettered fury of my rippling muscles, then... Come on! What? Huh? where they belong.
He, he turned into a bat. Well, he's certainly good at running away. Hmm, I'm sure I've met him before. Okay, okay, just relax. Don't get so worked up. I don't know what the mayor told you, but I'll never let you take us alive! <sighs> Tell me why you are stealing and causing so much trouble in the town. Joachim is protecting the store and the children from the mayor and his cronies. Store? It's my treasure, I'm afraid. The mayor wants to get his hands on it. Oh yeah? What is this treasure anyway? The deed to this store. Three months ago, on his deathbed, the man who built this store told me about a treasure buried beneath him. Treasure? Is it really true? Well, I've been living here for 30 years, and that's the first I've heard of it. But ever since, they've been bullying me to get me to give up the store. So the vigilante group... Yes, that's right. So that's why, Grand Papillon. Right again. Huh. Should we go and take back the money? Uh, sure, why not? Silly outfit. 
How dare you take my family? I, your Akeem, will make you pay for your crimes! Ha! Ah! Silly outfit, huh? Ah, my name is Veronica, if you must know. But the time for talk is over! What is he doing? Fight all evil doers. Not too shabby, masked wonder. Ha ha ha! No evildoer can stand against my rippling muscles. Well, I hate to get myself all sweaty. Here, I've got a present for you. Uh, that looks pretty tough. Come on, we've got to help! Do we really have to get in the middle of this one?
I thought it might be you. It's been a long time. Huh. It's you. Yes, Kato. It's been a year. No, longer. Uh... How you been? Who is this? Huh? A friend from my Shanghai days. Uh... I... Um... Japanese Imperial Navy, Special Agent Masaji Kato. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Japanese Imperial Navy? Hey, you're all being so rude. These are your new friends? Quite an interesting group. A lot has happened since we last met. But what about you? You've really changed your look since the last time I saw you. <laughs> well, yes. A lot has happened to me as well. <laughs> it's a tough job, being a diplomat. I just arrived back from New York this morning. And now because of this storm, I have to cancel my trip to London. Same old Kato. Still following orders, I see. We're in the same situation. A landslide stopped us from going to Wales. Wales? Yeah, Wales. Have you been to Wales before? No, but I've heard a lot about it. It sounds like an interesting place. Nah. There's nothing there at all. Probably just a bunch of weird monsters. Hmm. You folks want to go to Wales, do you? Yes, that's right. I just came from Rhonda. It's west of here. If you go through the mine there, you can go all the way into Wales. Really? Uh, well, yeah.
You can't beat us that easily. This is where it all began, and it all ended. Six months ago, there was a man who tried to destroy the world. He raised a temple into the sky and summoned a god from beyond the stars to remake the world in his own image. We defeated him and battled the god. In the end, we were saved by a legendary magician who has lived for a thousand years, Roger Bacon. Tough luck for you! It's them! Huh. It's just like Nikolai said. Too bad, but that old geezer isn't here. By this time, he's in a cage far away. <laughs> Where is he? I can't tell you. Cause you don't know? I know, all right. And where? I'm not saying. I knew it. You got no idea. I told you, you little punk. I do know. Right. Really? I don't know, really! Yeah, right. It's true, it's true, he's in Italy! Florence, Italy! Oh! Smart, but now you know too much for your own good!
but you can't hide. What an astonishing performance. Quite impressive, yes indeed. You there! Who are you? It's an honor. My name is Thomas. I'm what you might call an explorer. An explorer? You're not with the Secret Society? With the what? Oh! Oh, heavens no! Ah, but I do know a little something about what's going on between you and them. Have a look at this. That's Lenny. And he's got Roger. So, we're too late? Now, do you believe me when I say I'm not working with them? Why did you show me this? Well, my boy, I've also got a grudge to settle with Sapientis Gladio. I remember when I first heard the rumors of Sapientis Gladio. Yes, it was just before the war began. At the same time, a series of bizarre murders happened all over Europe. All were performed in the style of a medieval execution. The victims were high-level government dignitaries from each European country. Rumors of a secret society spread through the land, and various intelligence agencies sprang into motion. The only clue, a sword and owl crest. As to who was behind these grisly murders, no one had any idea. 